If it wasn't for race day, <laughs> cars would never get finished. That's the truth. Are we awake? <laughs> Welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. We have a deadline. Yeah, end of the month. End of the month. There is an event here locally. It's down at a really cool track. It's down at uh, Podium Club. Yep. And we're running, uh, hopefully, Budget EG, but also the Red EK uh, with our K24Z in it. And we need to get some things done. So you have a list of stuff you want to do. What's yeah, on that list? Definitely before the track day, it needs power steering. It, uh, it's not fun without power steering. Uh, it needs a new shifter because I hate those stock shifter boxes there on the floor that I feel like I'm reaching for my drink. And that's already so much better than like the B or D series boxes. It still amazes me how low it is. Right. Um, got some fender flares, I think, to put on. We're going to try and put on. And I got a brake leak somewhere on the, I think, front left caliper. All right. Well, today we're going to take care of the shifter. We got an acuity shifter. And why did you want this shifter? It's a piece of art. Yeah. A functional art. Who doesn't want functional art? Well, that's that's one thing. Well, yeah. My I mean, complaint was my complaint was that box sits too low. I'm a tall guy. I like my shifter really close to the steering wheel too. I don't like having to reach down. Feel like I'm just going to grab my drink, you know, leaving the drive through. Got it. Um, so you took this one because it's tall. It's much taller. This is this is a tenth generation Civic shifter, uh, which I've driven in tenth gen Civics, and it's an absolutely beautiful shifter. Uh, what makes you think it's going to work for your car? You told me it would. <laughs> the Peanuts. Water. The bane of my existence. Ah, uh, nuts. You ever put these things in water? So, really if you see this shifter, you can see it sits up pretty tall. I love their stickers. Talk about drip. It sits like that in here. So the shifter is significantly taller than a stock shifter. So that's why you decided you wanted it. You wanted something tall that you just... <coughs> Right to the steering wheel? Yeah, right at the steering it. wheel, grab it. Really right. great when you're mid-corner and you just shift it at the wrong point, so you got, right. you got to change gears mid-corner. I feel way more certain about every shift when it's up high. And it's just so much less wasted time. Don't have to, you know. Got it. No, it just feels like that, at least. And I, you know what, honestly, you ask most people, they'll probably agree. Dang, they really stay on point with their uh, color scheme. Is that purple grease? These shifters are actually designed to work with the stock 10th gen Civic cables as well as the Accord cables. Uh, now, obviously, we're not using that style transmission, so Acuity makes these really cool things. Like this right here is a bracket that's actually designed to be used with the 06 Civic Si transmissions. That one is super cool looking. Still got one other thing we have to solve though with oh. the car. Of That's course, not going to bolt onto the tunnel. This doesn't bolt onto the tunnel. You're absolutely right. So, they also make this product. This is the Acuity shift plate. This bolts down onto the tunnel. It has a uh, foam rubber piece that seals the tunnel opening. And then our shifter is going to bolt straight onto that. That's going to be a nice height. That's, yeah, that's going to be really good. Put up there where you like it, and that should be really, really good. We're going to read the instructions, uh, honestly, to see how it goes in. But I'm assuming it basically uses two of the existing holes. You're going to have to put two more holes in and then uh, bolt it right down. My favorite thing, honestly, is the fact that when you're at the track, you don't want to have to pull out an instruction manual to figure out what to torque something to, what what move adjusts what, and it's all printed, or I guess, it screen, is. It's, yeah. It uh, looks like it's laser etched yeah. straight on to, to the bracket. The bracket. I mean, you have the increased gate spacing, decreased gate spacing, everything's printed right there on the bracket. So when you're making adjustments on the fly, when you're testing and trying to figure out what you like, you don't have to stop and either try and remember, adjust it the wrong way, or pull out a manual. It's all right there. They even have torque specs on the other side for some of the other hardware that goes on to this. And it's just, it's a really nice, nice additive. Yeah, even the cable support lists your bolt size and your torque spec for it. Mm -hmm. That's engineering first. All right, cool. Well, uh, we need to get to this, get this thing in here uh, so we can get to the next thing on your list. <laughs> This is the bracket we made, uh, basically so that we could 
use the uh, 2003 to 2007 Accord shift linkage with the V6 cables. Uh, we did this uh, originally for a, the CRZ swap and we just had to modify it slightly to work with this particular uh, transmission. First step down, I need a flathead. I'm not talking about my head flat, I'm talking about a screwdriver with a flathead. Does crewing for Team Cargo uh, pay well? <laughs> pay? Hmm. No. We get emails asking for your services. <laughs> if you're my son, I'll respond. So there's the plate we made. Pretty simple, pretty budgety. Okay, so this is basically the shifter and cables you use on a J-series of core from 03 to 07. Uh, what I have here is a couple of sets of cables. These are uh, both for the Civic and for the uh, Accord. As you can see here, just a slight difference in length. The Accord one's a little bit longer, the Civic one's a little bit shorter. Let's kind of compare them. Wow, those are significantly shorter. Not that I think it'll be a problem. But we're going to go ahead and use these slightly longer ones from the Accord with your new shifter. And uh, we'll put these in the car and see how they do. Now the hole I've got them going through, I actually cut in the car, gosh, uh, when we installed the other cables. All right, so those are in. Let's get our shifter together. I'm just gonna barely hand tighten them for the moment. That way Carter can make adjustments to it later. Other than the shift knob, it's together. I'm gonna put our pad that seals out exhaust and heat and noise. I'm gonna guess 30 seconds of pressure. That's usually how that works. All right, that's kind of cool. So obviously this bracket probably goes in the front, comes up from the bottom of the car. You don't have to go underneath and hold the uh, nuts on the bottom because this will hold it for you. We'll try it out, see how it works. Going to use these bolts to kind of align it. Not going to tighten it down all the way. And then we will go up front and uh, drill through holes. Amazingly, the holes I drilled are pretty close. <laughs> But uh, thank God they don't overlap. That would be kind of a pain in the butt to have to drill it out. If you notice, this car has a plate welded into it. This car was originally J series, and I had a shifter that I mounted underneath. So we had to weld one of these back in place in order to get it back to manual transmission style. We, at one point, were going to uh, put a B series back in it after the J series. So that's why that's like that. This is actually a CX model. So just a five-speed Civic, but we had cut out that part of the tunnel in order to mount this kind of cool shifter box we'd made that mounted from underneath. In fact, it was uh, the first one that mounted below the, uh, the tunnel. Uh, we made it way back in the day using a, a prelude shifter and uh, some fabrication and just had the cables come straight out. It's a really cool idea. Our two new holes are kind of through the front edge of the thing. We're gonna have to Massage that metal so it's a little bit flatter. Got it. Do you want to put this in? Hell yeah, I'm already sitting there. Okay, it's in. Okay, this is interesting. The uh, post on the shifter is too big for our plastic liner. All right, so we just need to Put a clip on that. Hmm. Once again, too thick. 
This time it's this piece is too thick. The liner's fine. All righty. A little bit of modifications there. Now we need to put our clips in. Where did I put those? Thank you. Appreciate that. So here's something interesting. The way we route K-series cables normally is we come up through the floor. That's not long enough. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to route the cables straight out of the firewall. Now that in itself isn't particularly difficult except the engines in the car. So drilling a hole through the firewall is going to require moving a few things in order to do that. Okay, so our 10th gen cables wouldn't reach in our traditional area, so I went ahead and drilled a new hole <laughs> in the firewall in a spot that you can't see, but I cut it from inside and the cable is closer, but it's still an inch short. And I swear some of it... I just did swear. You know, I guess I'll order some Type R cables. Maybe they're longer than the cord cables. Oh my God. We're here today, hopefully with a solution for putting in our Acuity shifter into our EK with a K24 swap. Yesterday we encountered an issue with the cable coming up a little bit short. Well then, in talking to our friend Evan, we found out that he's actually using a set of FK8 Type R cables. And if you look at them, they're what we need. We were coming up that much short <laughs> in our shifter box. So I think these are going to work. These are the Accord cables and we were using those. We happen to have a set of Civic cables. I didn't try those in, but I know they're short because our cord cables ended up short. These cables actually, according to the part number, work on a K20C or an L15 in the Accord. These are from a Civic with an L15, and then these are from an FK8 with a K20C. They seem to be just the right length. Let's put them in. Yeah, I can't do real excitement. Yeah, no, that was fake. Let's put them in and see what happens. Big money, big money. shifters in the car you know it looks amazing first of all and it's beautiful and if it looks good you're gonna feel good which means you're gonna go good which means you're gonna be fast <laughs> no it's really nice it got it got the majority of what i wanted done it definitely got it up to the right height it got me the adjustability i wanted out of it it's very very positive engagement um it's really nice i think we might play around with just trying to tilt it back i'm quite a tall person so that was definitely a concern to me is bringing that because i already have yeah like a three inch extension on my three inch deep yeah. <laughs> dish steering wheel. So, you know, that wasn't designed for someone my height and my seating position in a car, but it's still absolutely lovely compared to the stock one. I can actually reach fifth gear without oh, straining against yeah. my belts. Uh, I heard you guys went on quite the discovery journey trying to find uh, uh, cables and such that fit. We had mixed information about which cables people were actually using with what swap for L15 versus the K-series and things like that. And we found that the FK8 cable is exactly what we needed. I know we cut uh, two extra holes in the firewall. We only needed one of them. Yeah. I suggest that we split the cables and put one through each hole. Just to make it look purposeful. Yeah, you know, keep... <laughs> Never mind, I can't. <laughs> keep that firewall airtight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was yeah. really easy to install. Like, you know how 
no matter how good the manufacturer is, there's always something you have to do. I was kind of expecting when we set that shifter on to have to like kind of squeeze that base plate yeah. or something, but it just all four went in without tension. Nice. I was really surprised. That's that's really good accuracy. I think that's it for now. I think we uh, we found what we think is a broken axle. Now we need to add to the list and investigate further. Yes. Hey, what do you call an alligator wearing a vest? I don't know. What do you call an alligator wearing a vest? An investigator. Ooh. <laughs> that's it for this episode. I hope you guys learned something because sadly I was stuck working for most of it, so they got to figure it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, check, go check out Acuity. They make really great products. Even if you're not doing swap, if you got attention Civic, they make great shifters for that, great stock replacement stuff, even spring kits and bushing kits and a whole bunch of cool yeah. If you're interested in something from Acuity, go use our link. It's down in the show notes. Uh, it helps us out and uh, gets you great products. So uh, yeah, go click on it now right now all right remember like subscribe share i know we're getting really close to 100,000 followers that's something my dad's really pushing for i think we're at 90,000 now so uh please keep sharing with nice. your friends it's working we're enjoying it we love making these videos bye bye bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs>